Hi, Caitlin V. Neal here, sex and relationship coach extraordinaire, and I'm here to share with you one of my favorite tips for helping you last longer in bed. Now, this is a tip for men who are looking to delay ejaculation. They just want to last as long as they can. They want to give their female partner the most amount of time so that she can have the best experience, whether that's reaching one orgasm or multiple orgasms or having an orgasm through penetration, through penis and vagina sex. I am here to share with you something that a lot of men don't think of, but is so super simple that you can implement it right now. You can implement it immediately. The next time that you have sex, you can turn off this video, call up your girlfriend, wife, or partner, and say, hey baby, I want to try something new. This will work every single time. There's no weird technique that you have to master. There's no skill set that you have to get used to. There's nothing to really practice here. This is a tip that you can utilize no matter who you are, where you are, who it is that you're having sex with. So super simple and so deceptively simple. You know, men, I've noticed through my work, because I coach mostly men, and my specialty is working with men who suffer from premature ejaculation. So whether or not that's you, or you just want to last longer, something that I have realized is that men get the idea that there's some advanced technique that they need to learn in order to last longer or to be a better lover. The truth is that there are some really cool advanced techniques, things that you need to practice, things that you can learn and integrate over time, things that you have to practice on your own before you can introduce them into bed with your lover. But there are some techniques that you haven't even thought of that are so freaking simple that they've never even crossed your mind. And to be fair, for a lot of you, you get in there and you think, oh my god, this is a race to the finish line. Like, I, or, or uh, the opposite, whatever, I'm trying to delay by crossing the finish line as much as possible. And you're thinking about that so much that you skip over a whole lot of the details leading all the way up to the finish line that can help you delay how long it takes you to get there. Okay, so here's, here it is. Here's my technique. Here's my big, simple secret for you in delaying your ejaculation and lasting longer in bed. Are you ready? The answer is keep your pants on. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You're like, okay, Caitlin, this, how am I having sex with my pants on? This makes absolutely zero sense. I get it, I hear you, stick with me. This is why it is important to keep your pants on. Women take longer to heat up than men do. I like to compare us to a microwave and an oven, even though I don't really like being, you know, compared to an appliance personally, I think it's a really useful analogy. So let's use it here. Men are like a microwave. You hit the button, they're on. They can work, they heat up quickly. There's no wait time, they're ready to go. Button on, go. Women are more like an oven. You have to do something a while before you plan on putting anything inside of it in order to heat it up and get it ready. An oven doesn't just go. There's a preheating section of time that you have to make space for, that you have to appreciate and acknowledge. You can't just put whatever it is in the oven that you're trying to heat up and hit the button and have it get hot right away. So using this analogy, women need more time. We have to kind of preheat. We've got to work our way up to the point where we're ready to have sex. This is your greatest advantage, gentlemen, and many of you are not using it as such. The trick here is to delay your own clothes coming off as much as possible. That gives you more time to warm her up before you get any kind of sensation or any kind of uh, physical pleasure, any kind of satisfaction on your end. Think about it like this. Say you take off most of her clothes and you remove your own shirt. That gives you her entire body as a canvas to use. You can pleasure her by lightly touching her arms, chest, breasts. You can warm her up by kissing down her entire neck, really taking your time. Trust me, it's almost impossible to go too slow or give too much care to every inch of her body. You can kiss her all over her torso, all up and down her legs, in her thighs. Sometimes just grazing your fingers on the inside of her thigh is enough to send a woman into hyperspace of arousal. Trust me. 
And the fact that you are keeping your pants on or at least your underwear on and denying her the pleasure of touching you back is also going to drive her crazy. That's like the ultimate tease to say, listen, I'm going to spend this time pleasing you. I want to satisfy you. I don't even want you to touch me. I want you to lay back and enjoy and let me do this for you. She might resist at first, but if you are confident and clear and insistent and you communicate to her that what you want to do is get her really hot and ready, get her really warmed up before you allow her the pleasure of touching you back, eventually she will be able to appreciate what you are doing for her. And trust me, she will appreciate it. Take that time, move really slowly. The nice thing about this is that if you are worried about ejaculating too early, this gives you plenty of time to focus on her body. Instead of focusing on your own fear or anxiety or worry about what's gonna to happen to you. This gives you an opportunity to even go all the way to giving her an orgasm using your hands and your mouth. And that way, she's not only is she ready to have an orgasm, but she already has had an orgasm. That way, once your pants come off and she starts pleasuring you or the two of you start having sex, it won't matter as much how long you last past that point because you've already taken care of her needs. Trust me, this is so deceptively simple and it is so effective, especially for those men who don't really have a lot of trouble with premature ejaculation, but just want to buy themselves a little bit more time or want to make sure that their partner is extra pleased and satisfied or that they want to be sure that she's multi-orgasmic multi and they want to be sure to give her an orgasm through vaginal penetration. This is possibly the best way to do that. If you want to have a, if you want to give your partner an orgasm through vaginal penetration, the best way to do that is by giving her an orgasm in another way first, particularly using your fingers and your mouth to stimulate her. So I hope that you like this tip. I know it's ridiculously simple, but put it into practice next time, especially those of you who are married or have been having sex with the same woman for a long time. You're probably used to having her touch you or start to pleasure you right away, right? So surprise her this time by really and intentionally taking care of her needs first and see how much longer you are able to last or how much more you're able to please her from start to finish as a result. So go forth, use this tip, use it right now. And if you have any questions, you want any more advice, you can actually download my free guide to lasting longer in bed through self-pleasure. I'll link it below. You can get it from CaitlinVNeil.com. It includes my four favorite tips, not including this one, that will help you to last longer in bed right away. And this guide works for men who have never even had sex yet. Uh, guys who don't even have a girlfriend or a wife. You don't need to have a partner to use the tips that I've outlined in my guide. And then when you do go to have sex with a woman, you can use this tip of keeping your pants on for as long as possible in order to prolong and delay your ejaculation even more. So go there right now, CaitlinVNeil.com download my guide, and write in the comments if you have any additional questions or how this works for you. After you go test it out, come back and leave me a comment letting me know how this worked, what you thought about it, what your wife or girlfriend or partner thought about it. Hit me up. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.